it's Sunday morning, it's quarter past seven. I was about to say that I'm running a tight shift, but I don't know if that's the saying. I don't know whether it's tight shift, tight ship. I don't know why I'd stop by saying that because I've never said it in my life, but anyway, I basically mean that it's busy for a Sunday morning. Usually I try and keep my weekend mornings really chilled and relaxed, but I'm teaching at the yoga studio where I teach this morning, I'm covering a class. So that starts at 10, but I also have a therapy session from eight to nine. And I've got the dogs to walk and obviously myself to get ready. So I've been up since six o'clock. <laughs> And I didn't have the best night's sleep because I've made the mistake of letting the dog stay on the bed because Jay's not here. So obviously there's a lot of room. And it is very cute, but they want to sleep as close to me as possible, which means I'm then trapped in. I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup. My next job for the morning is to take the dogs out for a walk. One thing about this time of day that I absolutely love is just how quiet it is. Um, I don't know if anyone else is the same, but I'd rather actually be up and out quite early if I am going somewhere on the weekend that's maybe usually a bit busier. Um, because it's obviously just nice and quiet. I'm testing out a new foundation, this is the MAC Face and Body, because I've seen lots of people speak about it and I really just like just something light that's going to give a little bit of coverage. But I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, because I feel like it really doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just gonna use this sample. I think it's amazing that they do this. It's a lot less wasteful than just buying products and then not knowing whether you're gonna like it or not. Um, yeah, I wouldn't usually use my fingers, but it says to. And I do think that actually that is what works best with this. So yeah, I'm gonna take them out, have some breakfast, have my therapy session then drive into town and then set up for the yoga class the theme for today is around feeling grounded um and i've kind of drawn on one of the yoga sutras around how basically about the mind and the kind of irritations of the mind um and in terms of postures it's going to be things like really strong standing postures where both of the feet are really rooted into the ground so things like warrior two warrior one um and then lots of seated postures as well for that kind of grounding feel um yeah with obviously like the seasons changing um it's a good time to kind of practice those ones to help us just feel a bit more secure a bit more rooted um and help us kind of move away from any agitations of the mind so that's the kind of theme really looking forward to it. it's a class that i've never taught before it's the current cohort of trainees so it feels quite full circle actually to now be teaching people that were in my position last year. Come on. Literally haven't seen one person yet and we've been outside for a good 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I just, I do love the dog walks, but we just can't commit to having our own dog yet. It's a big commitment. Um, so it feels like the best of both worlds. I get to look after my mum and stepdads and just have the family dogs whenever we can. Don't know if you can hear, but I've got smooth on for the dogs and I just love it. It's the most wholesome radio station and I don't listen to it enough. I'm about to go, it's nine o'clock. Is it nine o'clock? Yeah, five past nine. So I need to head out the door right now to go and teach this yoga class. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So I've just got to the studio and I'm gonna set up the class. There's six people joining today. So yeah, just getting the studio space set up and ready. Um, hopefully give myself enough time to also ground before everyone else gets here. Um, but yeah, you're probably about to watch a little time-lapse of me getting the space together.
I'm home. I've been home for about half an hour. Um, I was so lucky this morning. So I parked up. Obviously, as you saw, I set up for the class, taught the class. Then I realised I hadn't paid for parking because the machine had broke and I needed to like download an app and I thought, oh, I'll do when I get to the studio. Obviously, when I got to the studio, everything else happened and I needed to set up quite quickly. I had like 15 minutes. So I didn't pay for parking. And then it's so funny. As soon as I was out of the zone of teaching and everyone was starting to leave, I was like, that thing that I needed to remember to do has now come back into my brain. Luckily, I somehow, I can't even believe that I managed to get away with it. I mean, I think I did, there was no ticket. Um, so yeah, I didn't get a ticket, which is, honestly, it just made my day. So from there, I decided to stay in town. I went to 200 degrees, got a coffee. Um, I had like a tiny little bit of worky bits to do um, because basically I'm having Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off next week. So I'm working a little bit today um, to obviously make sure I've done everything so I can have that time off. Um, and then from that, I just did a little bit of shopping, just went to John Lewis and picked something up that I needed. So yeah, it was a really, it, you know what? I just felt like, and, and as well, when I went to John Lewis, there was something that I really wanted and I didn't have my size out in store. And she went and looked in the back and they had one left. Like all these little things just came together and I was like, I'm so lucky. I've had a pretty chilled afternoon. It's half four now. I took the dogs out before and I'm just gonna relax. I've got a massive cup of tea and I'm gonna watch Call the Midwife because if you've been watching my most recent vlogs or you follow me on social media, you know I'm obsessed. Um, I'm on series six, episode seven. So that's been since the start of this year, which I think is quite good going um, considering that hour long episodes. I mean, I don't know how many hours that is that I've watched of Call the Midwife. I realised before this is my last Sunday of living alone. And because I know Jay's coming back on Wednesday, I'm just going to lean into it and really enjoy it. Enjoy watching the programme that I want to watch. Enjoy just doing things at my own pace. Like, obviously I am. I, I cannot wait for him to come home. I am so excited. Um, but I think, I mean, I have tried to enjoy this time and find joy in it but at the same time obviously i've really missed not having my husband around so it's been quite a weird thing whereas now because i know he's home so soon i'm just like actually i'm gonna have a really nice relaxing afternoon and evenings i cannot believe i mean this vlog i've not really mentioned this i don't think this vlog is going to be the final vlog where i'm prepping for jay to come home so i guess the title is going to be something around that i'm going to make him a cake i'm going to go all out and just make him feel really welcomed home because obviously as much as it's been difficult for me he's also not been in his house for four months so yes that is the plan but for now i'm gonna eat i've also got a little mini chocolate brownie so i'm gonna eat that um what's called the midwife and just yeah i guess enjoy these last moments of solitude where i can watch call the midwife on a sunday afternoon and not have the football on morning it is monday I've done all of my usual things. I've taken the dogs out, had breakfast, um, just got ready. I'm gonna do a quick 10 minute meditation, have my coffee and then crack on with some work. I'm just waiting for my mug to heat up. Very random tip, but if you like having tea and coffee at home, but you just find that it goes really cold quickly, put hot water in your mug for a minute before you put your tea and coffee in. Obviously because it's cold at the moment, everything's cold like the same way you would do with bowls like the same way you do with your bowls and plates if you're having your dinner heat them up because it just makes everything taste nicer and yeah make sure drink lasts longer and just like that it's five o'clock <laughs> it's been quite a busy day today i had a list of things that i needed to do and then i was working for my freelance client as well um and getting things done there which i don't usually do on a monday but because jay's coming home this week i've rejigged things um but I'm actually going to do a workout now. It's half five and it's still light outside and it just gives me so much more energy. Throughout winter, I've just had to do any sort of workout in the morning because when it gets to five and it's dark, I've just, I shut down. Um, so on my lunch break, I actually went to Sainsbury's and I bought some weights. They're not extra light weights. I've taken them out of the box already. Um, so yes, I now have some three kilogram weights in my life. Um, 
I think we can get some five kilograms as well. But I thought I'd start with these because they're the perfect sort of in-between weight that I can use with arms and legs. Ideally would have got black because, I mean, it doesn't really fit my office, does it? But it's fine. I wanted to get some today. I've actually re-downloaded Peloton, which I just absolutely love. I really love all the instructors. I love the classes. I love the music that they do with it. And it makes working out and exercise and moving my body really fun for me. Um, obviously yoga is different in a sense um, it's a very different practice whereas with those kind of workouts I just need that to keep me motivated because yeah I've just not been very disciplined with it but it really makes me feel good and I just want more endorphins in my life so got my dumbbells and I'm going to attempt a Peloton workout Oh, Bo. No. That was so good. Just 20 minutes. I am going to try and up it to like 30, 40 minutes, but I just thought I'm going to ease my way in. Um, and yeah, just really nice to work out and just get it done. And it was obviously so cool. It felt like it just wasn't a lot of effort because um, it's just at home and it was just really quick and easy. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos while making some dinner and then I will check back in tomorrow. Didn't do quite enough milk. It's Tuesday, and it's actually the end of Tuesday. I've been a very neglectful vlogger. Don't even think I deserve to call myself a vlogger, um, but my mind has been elsewhere today. I've been working for my freelance client. I've been thinking a lot about my beginner's training that's starting this evening. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to try and ground myself before that. So I've made a chai latte, which is just the most comforting drink in the world. I'm going to sit and watch, you guessed it, call the midwife. And yeah, just take a moment to just decompress after a day of working, ready to teach this evening. I'm just so looking forward to it. I, I've been planning this for so long. I've rearranged my living room around a little bit. The one thing with me teaching from home is that I don't have a designated space that's big enough to fit me in when I'm stood up showing some of the different postures. So I think we're actually gonna have to think about this when we redecorate because obviously I wanna share a lot more online and this is the only room where I can really do it. So usually the sofa is exactly where I am now, but I've pushed it against the back wall. Um, so I do have a lot more space to do things. Um, don't know if you can hear the dog in the background. Want to play? Um, so yeah, I just need to have a little bit of a think about that. We also have um, a bedroom upstairs that could be big enough, but we've got quite a big bed in there at the minute. So might be a case of going to like a pull out sofa instead of a full bed. That would create a lot more space up there and mean that I could do things up there as well. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it and see what Jay says when he gets home. It's just gone six o'clock. The space is ready. Um, and yeah, it starts at half six, so I'm giving myself some time to just ground. Also try and get the dog settled before the practice starts because they do like to come on my yoga mat and I obviously don't want that to happen. Looks like they're both getting in their beds right now. So yeah, fingers crossed. I did take them for a huge W. Can't say the word otherwise I'll get excited before. I'm going to do a quick yoga flow and a bit of a meditation now to just ground before it starts and yeah I will check back in afterwards and fingers crossed we don't have little shih tzu doggies joining us. I mean it'd be fine if they do. This is one of the things with yoga just knowing that n not everything can be or has to be perfect um, and that's part of the practice as well. So I'm just trying to lead into it. First class as part of my new course is finished. It went really well. I'm gonna have my dinner now, which is just a massive bowl. I've got quinoa with roasted harissa cauliflower, chickpeas, and then some sun-dried tomatoes. It's just basically a random mash of things that I had in the house that I wanted to use up. And it has actually turned out really nice. I've just put a little bit of sweet chili on top. Um, but because I've put that harissa in there, and then I also put some cumin and a little bit of cinnamon actually on the cauliflower it tastes really good but yeah i've got 24 hours left on my own this is the last 24 hours before jay comes back i ordered a couple of bits from the sweaty betty sale the other day and the things have arrived 
So I thought I would round up this vlog by doing a bit of a try on and first impressions and sharing with you what I got. So this is the first jumper. It's a no from me. I'm going to be sending this back. It just... I really have this rule now where if I put something on and it doesn't feel 100% then I don't keep it and this just, it's giving me, like I think my stepdad has the exact same jumper. Okay, I'm excited about this next one because this is the main reason for my order and I'm buying a lot of things with New Zealand in mind. Obviously it is a mega flight um, and I think that this is what I'm going to wear. I really like this. It feels really soft. The quality is amazing. So obviously I don't just want to wear it for a flight. I want to be able to have it to wear kind of all year round. And I just feel like this just ticks every box. Okay, I don't know how I got so lucky, but three out of the four things I'm keeping, which is so rare for me. I mean, I don't really shop that much anymore. Um, so when I do, I just find it difficult to find things that I really love. And I really love this. I've been looking for just a plain long sleeve workout top because I've got one from Nike that I wear all the time. Saw this one in the sale. It is just your kind of standard long sleeve top, but it just feels really nice. The fabric's really soft. It's the perfect length so I can wear it with leggings. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's literally just everything that I wanted. And for such a kind of standard colour to be in the sale, I think it was meant to be £55, which I just wouldn't pay for this kind of top. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got it for 30 or maybe 25 So yeah, again, really chuffed with this. Apart from banana bread, I think I've maybe made three or four cakes in my life. And <laughs> I saw a recipe online, it said you can use a normal whisk if you don't have one of those fancy machine whisks. and. I've actually bent the whole thing trying to whisk this mixture. It is not going great, I'm not gonna lie. And it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> I, I'm trying to find the joy in this, but my arms and shoulders are aching and I'm a bit worried for the outcome because I do not have a backup plan. I'm just thinking I might as well try and do this as best I can because then the hard bit's out of the way in terms of actually baking the cake. Then I just have to try and ice them which was meant to be the tricky bit, not this. 